So yesterday I had a question about uh, using FTP applications with Paperspace. So I'm going to demo that uh, now. Um, so basically the first thing, I mean, accessing an FTP client is, sim is pretty similar to like SSHing into your uh, box from Terminal. Um, you use the exact same three parts. So your username, your password, and your IP address. Um, so let's quickly uh, do this inside of uh, Transmit first, and I'll show you CyberDuck. So in Transmit, uh, the first thing you only want to do is in Paperspace, you're going to want to grab your IP address. So if you click on this little icon here, you'll see it says copied. You're ready to go. I'm going to go over to let's see Transmit. Um, and then you go down here and you hit this little plus button. That adds a new server. I'm going to name this Paperspace just to keep track of things. And you want to make sure you're using SFTP. Hit Next. Uh, paste in your public IP address as the address. So that goes here. Your username is always Paperspace. And your password uh, was either sent to you or maybe you changed it after you logged in for the first time. So I'm going to grab my password really quickly. And when you hit Save, uh, that's going to save a version of it here. Double click. And now I'm inside of my server. So uh, one thing to remember with FTP clients is that um, it's pretty helpful to like quickly pull down files. Like one thing I like to do with this is just quickly check on like, oh, you know, how was this thing going? So I'm going to come in here and like look at an image. So it's like, pretty easy for me to look at images. I can quickly pull down that image. Um, but one thing to remember is that your, your literal laptop is really, really slow compared to like a cloud server um, because of the internet connections we have at, in our apartments or whatever, like that sort of thing. So I wouldn't recommend pulling down massive files um, from FTP or uploading massive files to FTP. It's just going to be a really slow process. Um, what I'd probably recommend is actually logging into uh, your desktop app um, so that you're inside of your server and then uh, either uploading or downloading your files to Dropbox or Google Drive. Um, that process, that speed is going to be way faster because you're connecting cloud server to cloud server. So it's just going to be way faster to do that work. Um, so generally just use FTP for like uploading a couple files, maybe checking things out, that sort of thing. Um, so I think that was everything we needed for transmit. Um, I'm just going to like disconnect and then we can look at CyberDuck here. So with CyberDuck, well, what you're going to do is you're going to press the open connection and then here for the same thing. So because I have the password, I'm going to copy my password, paste that here. Um, oh, you know what? One thing that's going to happen. So make sure you're using SFTP. Uh, transmit defaults to SFT, SFTP, um, but CyberDuck will not. So make sure you select SFTP, SSH file transfer protocol. And then it's the same process. So you want to grab your public IP address, put that in here. And likewise, your username is always paper space. And we hit connect. It's going to connect to your uh, machine. Um, another thing you can do with CyberDuck is you can uh, save your bookmarks. So it looks like I've already saved this one. Um, but you can go ahead and hit new bookmark, and that is going to create a new bookmark. And when you close it, it'll just save it here. Uh, I mostly use Transmit. It's, Transmit is $45, um, but I think it's well worth it. CyberDuck is free, uh, but with like most free stuff, I think it kind of bugs you every once in a while. Um, and it's not like, I would say Transmit is a little bit cleaner, but again, based on how often you use it, you might be fine with just getting away with CyberDuck. Um, so that's it with using F FTP and Paperspace. Um, let me know if you have any questions.